So you've been avoiding sugar all year round. You've been restricting it completely because you've identified it as a bad food. Then comes Halloween. There's temptations everywhere. So you just have one little bite. And then what happens? You feel guilty, you feel ashamed of yourself. You've gone off the wagon. You failed with your diet. And after this indulgence, you decide that you might as well go all the way. You have the entire pack of biscuits. You have the entire bar of chocolate or you just overdo it completely. The problem is that research has shown that people that strictly avoid certain foods and have more restrictive dieting practices are more likely to yo-yo diet, more likely to weight cycle, and more likely to overindulge on the very foods they're trying to restrict in the first place. So how about we ditch the all or nothing mindset this Halloween and enjoy sugar more mindfully? Here's three ways to do just that. Hey everyone, good to see you again. It's Robbie, registered nutritionist here at Second Nature. And today we're talking all about how we can have a more balanced Halloween. So let's get to it. So the history of Halloween actually dates back to a few traditions that occurred during the end of October and the beginning of November, such as the Catholic All Hallows Eve. And costumes were worn to scare away the evil spirits that were believed to be wandering the earth during this time. Now, they'd also leave out some baked treats and cakes using cinnamon nutmeg for these souls as it was believed that it would save them from purgatory. Fast forward a few hundred years and Halloween now is more of a joyful event with parties and fancy dress and kids going out trick or treating. And candies and sweets have replaced the traditional baked goods that we used to hand out. The short answer is no. One day, one event like Halloween is not going to define your health for the long term. So if you enjoy a bit too much sugar this Halloween, so what? You can get back onto your healthy diet whenever you're ready to do so. One of the reasons that people tend to overeat or overindulge in sugar during things like Halloween or Christmas or holidays is because of the all or nothing mindset. People tend to label sugar as a bad or naughty food and that it's only allowed to be consumed during certain times. And then when it gets to Halloween or Christmas, you overindulge, you feel guilty or ashamed because you've eaten too much of this naughty food, and it sends you on a vicious spiral. If we can move away from this all or nothing mindset, we'll be more likely to include sugar as part of a healthy balanced diet, and we're less likely to overindulge in it during things like Halloween, Christmas, or our holidays. So let's look at three practical tips that can help you have a balanced Halloween this year and have a more positive relationship with sugar in the long term. So we're often very disconnected from the foods that we eat nowadays. We'll often buy cakes or sweets from the supermarket, not have any clue what's in them and potentially overindulge in them later on. But if we can enjoy the process of baking and using those ingredients from scratch and involving the entire family, we're more likely to build a positive relationship with those ingredients and respect the food to a greater degree as well. It might mean that we're more mindful when we eat those foods later on, and also they'll probably taste better as well. And of course, the kids will love it too. Make it as playful as you possibly can. And if you click the link in the description, we've got a whole raft of dessert recipes on the Second Nature website. So research has shown that people that eat more mindfully and take their time with their meals are more likely to eat less, enjoy their food more, and actually maintain a healthier weight in the long term. Now we've got a link in the description with a detailed guide on how to eat mindfully. But as a quick recap, the first tip is to take your time. So take 20 seconds to chew each mouthful and take 20 minutes each meal. This will give your body enough time to send signals to the brain that you're comfortably full. The second tip is to eat without distraction. So turn off all of your smartphones, your tablets, your televisions. Sit down at a table if you have one. If not, still just sitting without that distraction is a positive thing and just focus on your meal. And the third tip is to eat until you're comfortably full. So if you take your time, that 20 minutes we recommended, you'll probably notice by the end of that, that you're comfortably full, you're not hungry, and you're not too full either. And that's the point at which you should stop 
And if you've got leftovers, just put them in the fridge or freezer for next time. So our final recommendation is to try and avoid consuming sugar or refined carbohydrates like cakes and pastries on an empty stomach. Now the reason for this is that if you eat these foods in isolation on an empty stomach, it can send your blood sugars on a bit of a roller coaster. So you might experience your blood sugars rising, but then dramatically falling afterwards. And this might affect your mood, it might feel, make you feel a bit shaky and lethargic and it might also make you feel more hungry. And what people tend to do is when their blood sugars come crashing down from sugar, they might eat more sugar to try and balance themselves out. But then you just end up on this roller coaster for the rest of the day. So research has actually shown that if we can consume sugar or refined carbohydrates after consuming a meal rich in protein, fiber and healthy fats, then we might actually blunt that blood sugar response. And then we won't have that dramatic roller coaster effect. Historically, sugar has always been included as part of our dessert after our main meals. And if we can take inspiration from that tradition, we might find that it'll have a less negative impact on our blood sugar levels. We can enjoy it more mindfully and we can include it in our diet over the long term. OK, everyone, I hope that was helpful. If you like what we've put together, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye then. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye.